My name is Glenn Spagnuolo. I'm one of the co-founders and spokesperson for Recreate 68 Alliance. Okay, and uh, I understand you were at the uh, at the anti-capitalist march last night. Yeah, I mean that's one way of calling it. We would just call it the forced march because the police kind of pushed everybody out of the parks to get the thing going. So uh, yeah, I was there though. And uh, did you get blockaded in by the police? Uh, yeah, we did. We were blockaded in between uh, 15th and 16th on Cleveland for close to two hours. I was on the other side of the park, and uh, <clears throat> what happened is kind of what Glenn described is uh, the cops had masked over here. They had been walking through the park all day, harassing people, kicking people to the side, telling them to move out of the way with, in full riot gear. And as the day went on, more and more cops came. <clears throat> so what happened is um, they, they pushed people, basically, they drove them out of the park, down 15th Street and then blocked them in in a certain area. And they, were pepper, they had pepper sprayed people, they were shoving people with their batons. Um, and then, as everybody saw that happen, other, everybody that, other people that were in the park, people who weren't even in the park, who weren't even protesting, got trapped by the cops. They got blockaded by the cops. But everybody that was here went down there and, pro and started demanding that the cops let the people that they were detaining go. In the police report, it said that, uh, excuse me, I have to get this out of my pocket. It said the uh, the official charges for those arrest, uh, arrested included uh, throwing rocks at the police, obstruction, and disobeying lawful order. How would you react to this? Did anybody throw any rocks at the police? There were no orders that were given. The second that they went in the street, everybody was hit with pepper spray and pepper bullets. So there were no orders that were given. Interfering with a police officer, they should have been interfering with the police because the police were getting out of hand and were hurting community members. So if that's the charge, that may be accurate, but the police were acting in a criminal nature last night. Feed people for food nut bombs and I was coming back to the kitchen to continue cleaning up because we leave at 9 o'clock when I saw the protest starting and the cop got a little out of hand. The one officer was afraid. He was scared. It happens. He has not been trained properly. He's the one that started the tear gas lobbying. They started yelling, get back, get back. They did not want us leaving the square. No one was doing anything wrong. They were passively protesting. We have a permit for this part. <laughs> so to me, it's the cops who disobeyed a lawful order to leave us the hell alone with our permit. I didn't, nobody threw any rocks. I didn't see anybody throw rocks. I mean, we've had this sort of thing before. I had a brother who was beaten up by the cops and was ch charged with a, 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 um, assault, a deadly weapon because they said he had a tiny little rock in his hand, about like that big, right? This is just something that they, they make these things up when they attack people so they can try and make charges stick. So they don't wind up looking like the aggressor, which is what they were. Uh, I was right outside the blockade. They, uh, they cut us off like halfway through and half of us got pushed back and the other half got blocked in. So we stayed all night to try to get them free, basically. And um, what did you notice the people doing uh, that were blockaded in? Uh, they sat down for a long time and then they, a lot of them were older people even who were just taking pictures, you know, and they wanted out and uh, they let them out. Then they started arresting people who were in the march that got out. There was 30 or so of them, 40, and that's about it. I mean, they maced this right up here on the other side of the road up here. I'm from Oklahoma, so I don't know the name of the streets. They maced us up here, so we rushed across. And then we, they bombard us right down the street. I mean, they just encaved us, man. It was crazy. And um, what would you, how would you react if I said that the, um, in the police report, the charges included uh, throwing rocks at police, obstruction, and disobeying lawful order? That's a complete lie. I mean, there was no rocks to even be thrown. Look at the, there's no rocks in the streets. There's no rocks anywhere. There's pieces of wood, maybe, but there were no rocks being thrown. We were just marching. That was it. That's nothing else happened. I mean, nothing was thrown. It's a shame that this had to happen because everybody was acting nonviolently. The police were itching for a fight since about six o'clock on. They were pushing people in the park, shoving people around, acting like a bunch of bullies, and it didn't need to happen this way. I don't know who made the tactical call from the police department, but it was a piss poor call because now everybody's all tense and motivated for more confrontation, and that's something that we didn't want, and it's something that the police are bringing down upon themselves, and I think it's a shame.